On December 7, 1941, Imperial Japan attacked U.S. naval base Pearl Harbor, effectively crippling the U.S. Pacific Fleet. This forced the United States into World War II. In response to the attacks on Pearl Harbor, President Franklin D. Roosevelt authorized Executive Order 6099. This order authorized local military and law enforcement authorities to establish military exclusion zones that allowed the government and military to designate people as excluded. In turn, these excluded individuals and families would be relocated to an internment site or relocation camp. Though they weren't explicitly mentioned in the text of the order, the primary target of these exclusion zones were Japanese Americans. Of 127,000 Japanese Americans living in the continental United States at the time of the Pearl Harbor attack, 112,000 resided on the West Coast. Japanese Americans were incarcerated based on local population concentrations and regional politics. More than 112,000 Japanese Americans living on the West Coast were forced into interior camps. However, in Hawaii, where 150,000 plus Japanese Americans composed of over one-third of the population, only 1,200 to 1,800 were interned. The internment of Japanese Americans is considered to have resulted more from racism than from any security risk posed by Japanese Americans. California defined anyone with 1 16th or more Japanese lineage as sufficient to be interned. Colonel Carl Bendenson, the architect behind the program, went so far as saying anyone with one drop of Japanese blood qualified. Conditions at these camps were often less than ideal and directly influenced by the entity running the camp. Most camps consisted of a large, fenced-in acreage filled with simple wood frame and tar paper barracks. Many of the camps lacked basic amenities for hygiene, cooking facilities, running water, and medical staff. Topaz Relocation Facility, 15 miles west of Delta, Utah, consisted of 19,800 acres with 640 acres of main living area. Some of the internees lived off the site as agricultural and industrial laborers. Topaz housed approximately 9,000 internees and staff. This made the camp the fifth largest city in Utah at the time. The extreme temperature fluctuations of the area combined with the uninsulated barracks made conditions extremely uncomfortable, even after the installation of pot-bellied stoves. The camp housed two elementary schools, a high school, a library, and some recreational facilities. Despite this, life at the camp was still highly unpleasant and reminiscent of a prison. One prisoner, James Wasaka, was shot and killed for standing too close to a threshold fence. This resulted in Topaz internees holding a large funeral and refusing to work until camp security was significantly relaxed. Here is what remains of the Topaz internment site today. Though a few structures and foundations remain, the scar of the camp reminds us of our country's often stained and imperfect history. Today, memorials stand as a reminder of the past in hopes that we might not repeat it. Close. Does look mining related. This looks like it's staged for a photo, so I'll take one. Gold metal over there. These are both hoppers of some kind.
wonder if this has anything to do with joy. Old conveyor belts. Not sure what they would have gone to. If this is an old quarry or something like that. I wonder what this is. You can see where the walls used to be. There's a drain here. Mario does it all the time. Hmm. I don't know that this would be part of the interment site because it's using cobblestone and like adobe mortar. Because the rest of the interment site is out this way. Found somebody's house. Somebody very small and furry. kind of tracks are these I can't even tell there's a paw print right there there wasn't a whole lot left of the internment camp for us to even see the things that were left frankly weren't all that interesting we decided at that point to start making our way out to the Little Drum Mountains to the northwest to go explore what's left of joy in the Black Boy Mining Facility. This involved driving some of the most remote and disused dirt roads in the state. We only encountered one other vehicle for the hour it took us to get from the internment camp to joy. We also got sidetracked by a few other mines and canyons on the way up. Here's what we found. Sucks. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's a it's a hole that was gonna be a mine shaft, but they realized they weren't finding anything. It's a big hole. It's not that deep up here. That is a mine shaft. Or mine entrance, anyways. And we go. Where? If not, that's two snakes. <laughs> There's more definitely snakes down here. Just looking for snakies. There's something down there. I'm looking how crumbly the sandstone is on the and going. I can see the end, and I'm in agreement with you. Part of me wants to, part of me is worried. Well, air on the side of caution, there's plenty more mines for us to walk around. I can see the end, so... Still cool. Not the best support for my entrance. Yeah, so we were gonna go in, but... That is. That's super crumbly. All this down here though? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Next mine. Old power box or something right there. Wires poking out everywhere. It's not a stick. It's a 
fence post. It's a stick, it's made of wood. <laughs> Snow! I can't tell if that's just a red rock and red soil or tailings, because all the tailings out here are red. Ooh. Just in case y'all were wondering. Dakota thinks I'm crazy talking to the camera back here. This one isn't filled, this one isn't finished. Holy Moses, I just went down like a foot into the rock. Yeah, looks like they were chasing this mineralization to try to find gold. That's filled in. I'm the map. 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 There's Laird Spring. It's all froze it, even though it's not. Frozen it, and I thought it was gonna be. It's like 50 degrees out here right now. I hear it cracking over here. You can see the hydrogen bubbles and everything that are coming up though. Found what's left of an old skip out here. At least that's what it looks like to me. It's pretty cool. And the little barrel thing. And up higher, that's a better one. If we go to that one, we might as well go to the other one. I'm fat, Dakota. Yeah, me too. Why are you making me do this? Make you unfat. I don't want to be unfat. Well, then now you've got room for more fat. Okay, that's fair. Found a mine shaft. It's kind of deep. Don't know how we're going to get in there. I don't think we will. No, nah, not this one. Looking for your gold, boys. Yeah, I thought this was just shale. It's actually mine tailings coming from up there. They filled it in. What kind of joke is this? Making me walk up all that to find a filled in hole. Da 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 da. We're the most pathetic fellowship ever. This might be waste rock. Uh, there's another one up there. Hell yeah. It goes back a ways, but it's too small for my fat body to get through.
looks like an ore bin. Let's see what's in this foundation. We could, should we camp up here? Can. I'm down. Good location. My guess about what would have been mounted up here. This is a rail. <sighs> Holy cow, I'm out of shape. There's an old opening. It's been sealed off. I think maybe this is where engines would have been mounted. Sweet. Some old white paint or white chalk text. Can't quite see what it says. I think this says like 1926 or 1916. That's pretty cool. To me, it looks like the ore bin and head frame were all one unit. Pulling things in and lowering them to the mine. There's a couple openings. There might be another one over here. All the way down, bro. There's equipment down there. Sweet. That's a long ways down. You can see the cable here that goes down. That would have been used for, I think, a man car or an ore car to bring it back up to the surface. You see the old railroad ties going down, stay like, with the rails probably laid on them. And that can be walked down like stairs. Kind of want to, kind of don't. Sweet. Found a piece of airline. Looks like there would have been some copper out here. Unless my eyes are playing tricks on me and I have no idea what I'm talking about, which very well might be the case. Let's go get the bigger light. Holy sh yeah. Yeah, dude, that's this is a this is an airway that goes all the way down to the mines underneath us. Okay. And that goes all the way down to the top level of the mine, probably the bottom levels. You feel how squish this is? I don't like it. I'll get back on that. That, this right here, is why I don't go wandering around in the dark in this area. That's probably a good few hundred feet down. Looks like we're coming up on the largest bit of joy over here. I'm about to run out of freaking batteries. Oh. That's the main shaft, and I think that shaft goes down about 2,000 feet. Nice. This is what's left of what would have been the old head frame. You can see the concrete here, where they would have mounted the engines. That turned over to pull the pulleys, or spin the pulleys to pull the elevator out of the big shaft over here. <laughs> this big shaft. This is an old mine opening. That's been caved in. That's actually the remains of the gate right there. It's interesting how close they have it to the ore bin right there, or what's left of it. You got that chute right there. Let's go take a peek -see. At this point, the batteries in my handheld camera died. Okay, what are you trying to do right now? 
secure this portion too. Sure. We decided it would be a good time to set up camp. It was starting to rain and there was a more severe storm rolling in, so we decided to cook a hot meal and get into bed while we could. Clearly it didn't work out as well as planned because we forgot steaks for Dakota's spring bar, but we made it work. <laughs> this ain't gonna work. Rocks. Oh, we're moving. But I think it'll work. Improvise, adapt, and overcome, dude. Come on. How are you gonna let a crayon eater come up with solution for a problem? Because there wasn't a problem. I was gonna sleep on the ground. <laughs> nah, my friends don't sleep on the ground. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a light on the hill right Found the light. This is a tribute to somebody. I don't know if it's just a grave or a monument. That's really nice though. I wouldn't mind being remembered like that. Get a little fire going. What you got there, Dakota? I got some spaghettios. They are delicious. Good morning. Uh. <laughs> Ta -da! We had some visitors. You can see where they all bedded down. Behind all these bushes trying to get away from the wind. I heard something clop clopping around last night. I was wondering what it was. Tucking? Hey look, stuff on the ground. Mining equipment. Where? There. Oh, that's uh I don't know what that is. That's a little sprocket on the end. Yeah, it looks like a skip. Yeah, dude, that's a skip or something. Looks like a skip to me. And it's still open. Oh, jeez. There's a bedding back there. Yeah. Something lives back there. We ain't going in there. Here's what's left of the ore bin. Looks like this would have been like the conveyor way or the slide for the ore chute. Looks like this used to be a massive opening that's since been filled in. Yeah, I see some going into the hillside. That looks like airline. And I can see where it would have connected up here, I think, or is that just a can? That's just a can. Or a coupler. Dead stuff. Yep. 
super mega squish over here going like an inch into the ground how successful they were yeah this all used to be a lot more open birds living in here now and it's very crumbly so I think I'm gonna get out from underneath it dude this is what's left of a really old car this is a fender or a uh, wheel flare or a fender flare Yeah, dude, that's a headlight housing. So brittle. And there's another bit of it up here. And that's part of the frame. This was a pickup. This was an old pickup truck. Oh, it broke. That's freaking cool. You're a hazard, Harry. All right, back to where we left off yesterday when the camera battery died. This is an ore bin with some more chutes that would, actually those look like conveyor chutes. No, it's got a gate right there, so it would have loaded ore onto carts or trucks and they would have driven out that way. Yeah, there's rails coming up. see him yeah you can see what's left there's a rail section that's really neat and you can see airline or water line going down there I kind of want to hop down here and go check out that opening but I need to check and make sure I'm not about to stumble into another opening because if I fall into any of the openings here, I ain't coming back. Well, that was brilliant, having a mine opening right underneath your ore bin. There's footprints in there. People prints. So someone crawled in there. Like a nut job. Oh, this goes back a ways. And there's beer cans in there. Oh, it stops right there, never mind. The ceiling is also super loose. So, we're not going to go all the way in there. Top of the ore bin. There's an old piece of conveyor. Not gonna pretend I know what all this is for. Well, that's cool. This looks like it was one of the main mechanisms for the pulley on the head frame that were, probably would have been part of that ore bin to pull the uh, war carts and stuff up the shaft so this looks like a pedal that would be used for braking and this looks like a lever that would be used for operation neither of which are gonna move a couple birds have made a home in there this is probably where the engine was mounted for driving it, so the engine would be mounted here 
and yeah here's the exhaust pipe for the engine This would have been the drive sprocket coming from the engine going into this larger gear. This larger gear would turn over and the cables would be seated here and or here. Where they would have been metered. They would have gone to the head frame which would have stood there. Which would have gone down to the mine shaft down there. This is what's left of the old, I guess, doghouse is what they would call it. Cool beans. Holy cow. Let's go down there. Making my way downtown to a shaft. Look inside and I'm all bound. Da -da 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 -da. Rabbit. I just seen a rabbit run in there. This area looks particularly precarious and dangerous. Oh man, I don't like the surface I am walking on. And this stuff is still frozen solid. Holy cow. Okay, it's filled in, mostly. Don't get too close to this one, Dakota. Cause I don't know how I would get you out. These horizontal shafts, ye old support. Ceiling looks fairly solid. I don't feel bad walking under here. Old portal entrance. This ain't deep. It's solid too. And it stops pretty quickly. Bedding coming out of there. How's the ceiling? The ceiling looks nice. Looks like it's fallen in at least yeah. once. That's a whole door. It's a new door. Yeah, that is pretty new. Utah. Maybe it's not that new. Can I have that? Mine's just not that bright right now. It needs batteries. Oh, this stops right there. We'll find. Another shaft. Go back pretty far, I can't see the end of it. But it's another one I won't crawl into because it's uh, too crumbly in the ceiling. Oh, yeah, that's very crumbly. There's a lot of weight above it. It looks unstable, anyways. You'd get popped like a hot dog if that fell on you. That rock right there is waiting for the right person to kill. It's all cracked around it, just hanging there by a thread. Oh, that looks like a stope for an airway, maybe. Oh yeah, it's a wide open underneath us, dude. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and move. Yeah, it goes your way that way. So. That's probably that other shaft we were looking at down there. Just connects down here. Huh. It came from the sky. <laughs> I smell bad. 
I'm Batman. Those both go back a ways. But this looks like it caved in naturally. There's our feces. Boopies. All the way down. Yay. Yeah. Decent sized boopies, too. I not see anything now, but I definitely saw something shine back at me. I wonder if there's a bobcat in there. Or a pack rat. Could be another possibility. Mm. Openings. Big one here. Doesn't go that deep. But it goes down. Maybe that connects to the one down there. Yeah, it probably does. There might be one over there. I think there's one over here. Wherever there's an ore bin with a chute, there's got to be openings, right? This is a smaller ore bin slash ore chute. So this is probably a smaller mine. Unless there used to be more to this structure. I mean, there's tons of tailings that we just climbed up. There should be an opening. That's what's left of it. Looks like it got closed. We spent the next two or three hours scouring the hills of the Little Drum Mountains looking for portals, adits, openings, shafts, ore bins, ah. and any other structures or artifacts that we could find. Climbed all the way up that just to find a closed opening. Unfortunately, nearly every other mine opening we found after this point was either closed off, unfinished, or simply not there. I think it's just gonna fall down one of these days. We decided to head back to the first openings that we had found and wander into the horizontal shaft, or at it, that we had found there to see what else we could find. What's left of the old, uh, I think it's called the Miner's Lodge. It's where the miners would sleep in their shifts, if I'm not mistaken, but I may be. I may very well just be talking out my rear end here. These are old bottles. Looks like we had a guest last night. Got some pity pat track. Dakota found a pretty rock. I called dibs on it, I'm taking it home to the wife. She likes shiny things. Shall we? further but not too much farther just want to make sure the ceilings not super crumbly holy shit <laughs> the floor disappeared underneath me okay we got a partial cave in right here Oh, that's just where they put waste rock. You can see a hole up there where they bored to put dynamite for blasting. There you go. It just keeps going. There's a stope here. An opening there. It keeps going back that way. starting to get really hot. Oh, that shifted. Yeah. 
and it opens up straight down down there. I think this is as far as we're gonna go. I don't feel so good about the rest of it. What do you think? Yeah, that freaking shifted when I stepped on it. That was scary. Yeah, let's get out of here. This is only the first half of Joy in the Black Boy Mining Facility. The primary facility is at the top of the mountain, but was blocked off by several feet of snow. of it being Christmas Eve and yet another severe storm heading our direction, we decided that the best plan of action was for us to get back home while the roads were still clear. I plan on returning in the spring when the snow is cleared and the remainder of the city is accessible. I hope you've enjoyed watching our adventures so far. If you have, please subscribe and share with your friends. It really helps me out a lot. While you're at it, consider contributing to my Patreon campaign. I have a lot of exclusive content in the works for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on our next adventure.